Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Afichi, Antivirus Free. One of her mods at Discord pointed out that I haven't really checked this out in the last two years. And while they are now owned by Avast, if you're not aware, from a user perspective, it's still a different product. So I guess we'll put it through our battery of tests, even though we know that the engines behind it and the technology is likely gonna be very similar to Avast. Now, I should also point out that given they're owned by Avast, you can expect a few similarities. The slightly annoying ads that you see with regards to protection that can be considered a little bit misleading sometimes, and also not so good data privacy given that they sell your data to third parties. But if you're okay with that, you get computer protection, which includes file shield, behavioral shield, ransomware protection, network inspector, all for free, along with web and email, so quite a few shields in here. The UI itself is quite decent. I would actually prefer this to Avast. Although as you can see here, it says we found four risks to your online security, but this is basically just an ad as our main solution is to upgrade to internet security to avoid these risks. Ignoring that, our virus databases are up to date. We will go ahead and do another check for updates and then we will start our test. So as you know, here at the PC security channel, we don't just talk about products, we actually test them against real malware. So in here, we've got 1,339 items. These are freshly collected and there's all sorts of threats in here, including ransomware, PUPs, Trojans, and we will automate the execution of all of these threats on this test system using our script called Malix. So now that we know we are fully up to date, I'm going to get started with that. Essentially, we're simulating a network attack vector where we navigate to our folder in Z shared and we've got all the threats located there, not on the system. So we're not disabling anything. We're not copy pasting anything. But as soon as we launch malix.py, all these threats are essentially going to invade the system and we'll see how AVG can protect us. Real-time protection is indeed turned on. So let the testing begin. So far, so good. We're maintaining a detection of 100%, but it's early days, so we don't know how this is going to go. In order to keep an eye on the resource usage during the test, I'm also going to have Task Manager open. And you can kind of look at AVG's resource usage throughout the entire test. Now, this is going to take a while, but given that this is an edited video, we can do some magic. Let's speed it up, shall we? Woohoo, looks like the test is finally complete. That took fairly long, 30 minutes to be precise, but keep in mind that the resource usage was very low throughout the test. So it seems like AVG prefers lower resource usage over faster decision making. So out of the 1,339 files that we tried executing, we only had two misses with a final proactive detection of 99.85%. They do after all have one of the largest threat networks in the world. So 
you would kind of expect their detection ratio to be up there. This doesn't really tell us about their behavioral blocking capabilities, so we're going to do one more test after this to figure that out. But before that, I'm just going to do a second opinion scan with Hitman Pro, some forensics on the system to see if any of these two misses actually resulted in persistent threats. Hitman Pro didn't flag anything other than the suspicious driver, which is likely just a false positive, so we'll move on. Auto Runs does reveal a sketchy item here called Web Explorer. Fortunately, it does seem like this item was later removed by AVG because there's a file not found error when you look at the image path. So if anything, we've got some traces on the system, but for the most part, it is clean. Now we're going to do a quick ransomware test with some popular variants that you might have heard of, like WannaCry, Petya, all the rest. These are of course well-known threats and should be picked up by the signatures, but we'll go ahead and try to test the behavior blocker here by going into computer and disabling the file shield. So what this is intended to do is prevent the signatures from interfering so we can actually see if the behavior shield and the ransomware protection is able to deal with the threats that we're going to throw at it now. Essentially, we're trying to simulate an attack with similar ransomware as the infamous threats from the past when the product does not have signatures for them. We will use the same Malik script to automate the process. So we just need to type Python, malix.py and go ahead with a similar test. Now, of course, we are going to see a lot more misses. That's just because we are looking at the reactive defenses here. To some extent, we're looking at the behavioral blocking component. However, the main thing here is not really the detection ratio. You can ignore that entirely, but we're going to see if the ransomware is able to infiltrate the system and do any real damage. As you can see, the uh, behavior blocker is blocking these apps but we have uh, definitely quite a few ransomware variants executing, trying to make copies on the desktop. We'll see if any of our data is affected or encrypted. I think that's the main thing here. We go into our folders. Let's see if we have documents and uh, okay. So it says your files are encrypted, but if we actually open the document, our data is safe. That is indeed good news. Let's give this some more time though and get back to it so the ransomware has had time to do its mischief and then we'll see if our data is still safe. All right, so let's have another look at the system. So AVG is blocking a lot of these threats using IDP or IDP generic detections. That is great to see because ID pure identity protection is kind of the classic AVG shield that used to be there with the older versions. It's nice to see that they've maintained that and the same naming scheme. It always used to be a decent behavior blocker, but it does look like it's blocking most of the ransomware threats here. If we take a look at our data, again, our documents still seem to be doing fine. I don't think any of our data is actually encrypted here. If we look at pictures, our pictures are fine as well. However, the data on the desktop might have been affected. So I'm pretty sure our icons here were affected. We've got ransom messages on the desktop and we just had our desktop background changed. Looks like Windows Explorer has been deleted as well. So it seems like AVG's ransomware protection component tried to protect the data in our documents and pictures folder, but elsewhere on the system, ransomware is still wrecking havoc. All of the threats were not successfully blocked by IDP or the behavior shield. And again, our data is still there. Everything's fine, except the desktop backgrounds changed and the data on the desktop seems to be encrypted. So if you had any important documents on your desktop, those would be gone to oblivion by all this ransomware. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, if we look at our actual shared folder, it seems the data here has been obliterated. Not just that, we've also got copies of ransomware scripts and all sorts of things in here. It seems some of the ransomware created its own executables and then that was encrypted by some other ransomware. So if this was a real ransomware attack on a network, well, I expect the threats would be spreading laterally at this point, infecting other systems on the network, destroying files everywhere. And while AVG might protect the couple of folders that it thinks are essential, 
everything else is going to be burnt up. So what can I say for the defenses overall? Maybe 3.6? Not great, not terrible? If you don't get the meme, that's not a good connotation. So it's definitely not a good result in the second part of the test. But hey, I guess it's not terrible for free AV. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So there you have it. Those are my final thoughts on AVG antivirus free. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the PC Security channel for more amazing cybersecurity content. Check out our website, thepcsecuritychannel.com. There's a lot of exciting stuff there. And if you'd like us to assist in the cybersecurity of your business or get evaluated, feel free to reach out. Join our Discord community if you just want to hang out and have fun. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.